Hello everyone, this is Priyanka. Welcome to my channel Priyanka's IT School. Today I'm going to share you one more video, okay, on same Selenium web driver setup on Microsoft Edge. So in the last class or in the last session, we have covered what is Selenium web driver, how you can set up Selenium web driver on a Chrome browser, as well as we have also covered how to set up on Firefox browser. Today I'm going to show you setup of Selenium on Microsoft Edge. So how exactly we can use Microsoft Edge? Same process guys, you know, whatever browser you guys are having on your machine, same with that browser, you guys are able to automate application. So for setup Microsoft Edge, again, the same process. First of all, you have to download that driver. Okay, download driver for, I will say Microsoft Edge. Let me just write. Okay, so here you have to download a driver for Microsoft Edge. And then you can simple set up the driver to your project. So let me write a second step. Set up driver to project. Correct? How to do this? Very first, I will open official website of Selenium. So we have already seen that. Just need to write on uh, Google. You can just write selenium.dev. You will get this official website. See, if you want to first time, if you just uh, first time watching this video, then I will suggest you, I will recommend you follow the previous session so you will understand the flow, right? So here I'm explaining only how you can set up web driver for Selenium or Selenium web driver for Microsoft Edge. Already we have seen that. How to download Selenium server, that is Selenium web driver library file and how to add to a particular project, correct? In this tutorial, now you have to again go to the same option, download option. Here you can see the latest stable version. This you can download and you can just add to your project. So you are able to write a code that will be Selenium web driver code, correct? But how to set up a browser driver? That is most important part. So guys, just scroll down the same page. Here under a browser section, you will able to see all the supported browsers. I'm going to show you Microsoft Edge. So let me go to the documentation. If you open this documentation, now you can see variety of releases are available. Now you have to confirm that which release you guys are using on your machine. Accordingly, you have to download that particular driver. So let me quickly open Microsoft Edge to check this. Whenever Edge is open, just go to help section and you will see this message or you will see that option about Microsoft Edge. Open it and see here, I'm getting that I'm using this version, right? 107.26. Uh, okay, let me just close it and see this is the version. Okay, I got it. 107.26. I'm using Windows 64 bit. So I'm going to use this one, this link. Just use the same link. It will automatically download that zip folder. Now, one more time, you have to cut your driver from that uh, particular download section and use it directly in your project. So I will cut this from here. I will go to my project. In this project, in the last class already, we have defined or discussed that how you can set up Selenium server, this external library file to your Java project, how you can add a drivers to the driver folder in the same project that we have already completed. So let me just go to the driver section one more time. So I will just go to the properties. Under properties, under same location, just click and you will get a system location. Here I'm going to paste my driver. Okay, so let me just paste it now. See, this is a zip folder. So every time, guys, you cannot directly copy paste path from this zip folder. You have to extract this, okay? So just right click on zip folder and you can just use extract all option or extract here, right? Then you can see I'm getting this driver, right? MSG driver is available here. So I'll just delete this particular driver nodes. I will delete, okay? And this Microsoft Edge uh, zip folder also I don't want. Now you can see only three files are available in this driver folder. Close this and you can just refresh your drivers. And now we are, you can see that the file is available here. Now we can ready to go. We can prepare a test case now, correct? So let me prepare a test case. 
for Microsoft Edge. So I'm going to create a new class. Let me give a name or I will just write test for Microsoft Edge. So let me just write here test for Edge. And now let me take main function. Click on finish. Very first step, you have to set up your driver, correct? But driver for which browser? Microsoft Edge. So let's write a code. Let's start writing with web driver interface. Let's create a reference of web driver so that we can create or we can call all the method which is already implemented by Selenium developer and which is available through this library, right? You can use it. So just create a reference of web driver driver. Guys, web driver, it is interface, right? And for interface, we cannot create object. So if you want to call any method from the interface, you have to call or you have to create object of a child class. So currently I'm using here, currently I'm using here a particular, you know, Microsoft Edge browser. So for the Microsoft Edge, we are having same Edge driver as a class file. So let me create the object of same. So I will be writing here Edge driver as a class file. And let me tell you, Edge driver, it is a class. Web driver, it is an interface, remember. So these two classes and the interfaces, you can just import from Selenium package. So just keep your mouse pointer. You will get this option to import web driver from org.openqa.selenium. Remember this package name. People might ask you this in the interview. Then import it. But as I told you, only one statement is not sufficient to launch a browser. Whatever driver file you are adding to your, you know, project, you have to set up a path for this driver file to your test case. Correct? So guys, if you run directly this code, you will able to see Java illegal state exception. Just observe. Okay, this time it is already set up, I guess, and that is the reason it is working. Okay, on my system it is working, but whenever you try it first time, you will definitely get illegal state exception. Okay? So still, you know, what we need to write, we need to set up here system.set property, remember. So I will be writing here system.set property. So just write system.set property, it is a method. And let me tell you, here you can pass two parameter. See, do not, uh, do not worry about this. On my system, it is already working properly because of previous setup. So just write on your system and definitely you will see if you write only one statement, if you run it, you will get that exception. That exception means what? It will ask you to set up a driver path and the file, you know, the path of the driver file here in your system so that you can run your test case directly through this server, right? Not through the directly real browser. And that is a reason to set up a server. We will see or we just require this system dot set property method. Okay. System, it is a class. Set property, it is a method. And what the key you need to pass? See, whenever you first time run the code, at that time, whenever you will get that exception, the key is already written over there. If you don't know, just write this one. Web driver dot age dot driver. Okay? And here you can set up a path. So, guys, path, like whatever driver file is available on your, your machine, you can just copy that path and you can paste it here, right? But currently, if you observe clearly or clearly, then guys, uh, you can just observe my driver file is available in the driver folder, correct? So first of all, my folder is available inside my project. So I have to fetch complete project path. So I will be just writing dot and single forward slash. Along with that, you have to add a real path of that particular file. So you can right click on that file, go to the properties, and just copy this much of path, correct? Drivers and that particular file path. Copy and you can just directly use it here. Done. So my path is ready. And this time I will say that, okay, fine. These two statements are important to launch browser on a machine, okay? So I will say to launch, let me write browser. These two machines or uh, these two statements are important, correct? On a machine. Now, guys, one more step. See, what I want to do is, obviously, if you write this particular script and if you try to run it, you will get a Microsoft page. So now you are ready to go. You can just open any application in this browser. See, this is not a real browser. You can see this message. 
Microsoft page is being controlled by automated test software. So here you can pass URL with the help of command. See every step you have to automate. So I will say to open application. To open application, we will write a statement driver dot which command. If you just apply driver is a reference variable and dot operator, see this particular list guys. This is a complete list of Selenium web driver commands or you can just call it as method. Which method we guys are going to follow to open application? So here direct method available, get method. In the get method, you can pass URL address in the string form and then it will open that specific application in your browser. So if I just pass here valid URL, okay, let's see. If I'm writing HTTPS colon www dot let's say google yeah google.com so i'm expecting that which application to be open google application so let's see what will happen if you run the script this time if you execute your script see the result microsoft page is getting open with a google application yes another test is passed right but this time i want to capture one more step what i want to do is see my code is executing properly I, I can see that application is available here, but I just want to show you how you can capture title. So let me show you how you can capture title of this application. So guys, to capture title of any application, method is same. Just write driver dot get title. So this method will return you what? String, title in the form of string. So either you can you know declare it as a string this is a string and just write a variable name string title is what driver dot get title and then finally you can print that title so let me again write my statement here properly just a minute hmm. and here i'm going to write okay fine then application Just a minute, huh? everybody. Let me write properly. Okay. Application title is it is something happening with my keyboard. Just a minute. Application. Yeah, it is caps log on. Yeah. Let me write one more time. application title is and then you can directly paste it okay yes let me write and here i can just add that either you can directly write that command or just write that variable name okay that's up to you so example, I will be writing directly variable name. So what will happen? Once you run this script, automatically it will capture a title and the same title it will print inside a console. So now you can observe one more time it is opening that same application and see, observe the result in, result in console. So you can see that title is Google, correct? So I'm able to successfully capture a title of the application. Now what is the next step? See guys, to validate a title, as I told you, Every test case is, you know, incomplete without validation. So you have to complete it, right? Do some validation on the title. So to validate title, what to do? I will say, okay, fine. We are having title in the title variable. So I can directly put some condition. If I will say title is a string. So I can just check that, okay, title equals exact matching. If you want to go for exact matching, just use this method, equals method. In this equal, whatever you guys are expecting from that application, you can add it here, correct? So I will be writing here what I'm expecting. I'm expecting title should be definitely Google. If the same title get match, right? Then you should get this message. So I'm just going to write that message. Okay, fine. I should get the message that title match and test pass. Let me just write properly. So I will be writing title match. Okay and test pass let me use in this way and test pass correct otherwise what else we can do yes 
for invalid let's say suppose title is not matching properly then we can add here a else path correct so here i can add else and here i can add that statement just observe how you can prepare a script so i will say okay fine title is not match yes and test will fail right so in that case you have to write properly so i will say test fail done and guys your test case is ready with validation so you can just run and see the result so if your title is matching then definitely you will get a result test case pass so just observe what is the result coming inside a console see my test case got executed successfully and see i got the result title match test pass this is the way guys this is a very basic script that we can start okay to automate any application so for automation purpose at least you should know first step how you can set up selenium web driver okay on a particular browser how you can set up that browser driver file and how you can prepare a first test case on that specific browser so that's all for this session we will continue the next topic in the next session so i will be covering some selenium web driver commands in the next session so thanks for watching this video stay tuned stay safe and subscribe my channel thank you so much